What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.3, only this time it's going to be untethered, meaning that you don't have to use Red Snow every time you reboot your device, and it's strongly recommended. So right now I'm going to show you that I am running on 4.3.3, and as you can see there, I'll try to focus on the camera, 4.3.3, alright. So if you're already jailbroken, like as you can already see here, you can already do the red snow and then you wouldn't affect it but it's strongly recommended that you restore from iTunes to a new fresh 4.3.3 so we're gonna go to my computer right now and show you the steps alright so right here we have red snow and the iPhone or I, for your iDevice 4.3.3 I'll put the links in the description for those two you can always use Pointer still for Mac but it's up to your preference right now so we're gonna go to red snow go to right click on red snow exe go down to properties Go to compatibility mode, check on run this program, and then on the bottom, put this uh, well, check run this program as administrator. Click apply and then click OK. Double click on Rich Snow. Alright, you're going to get this window. It's going to tell you to browse for the current IPSW, which is the firmware file. So we're going to go ahead and browse. For our firmware, of course, you can ignore this if you don't have an iPhone 3GS. Click next, and it should be uh, preparing jailbreaking, jailbreak data. All right, so you get the list of options: install Cydia, install custom bundle, allow boot animation, install iPad, basement, deactivate, and so on. So we're just gonna go ahead and just install Cydia. Click next, and this is gonna tell you to turn off your iDevice. And we're gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna turn off my iDevice and make sure it's plugged in. So remember that it's plugged in and it's turned off. That's what you must do. All right. So we're gonna switch over to my camera here. As you can see there, it's already uh, turning off. It'll take a while. Alright, we're going to click on next and then we're going to be followed by three steps. You must pay attention to these steps. If you mess up, you can always click the back button and uh, it should be, there shouldn't be any problem. So we're going to click next right now. Hold the home bu uh, power button for three seconds. Hold the home button with the power button for ten seconds. Alright, and then let go of the power button and keep holding on to the home button for fifteen seconds. Alright, on your computer screen, it should be exploring with Lime Rain, waiting for reboot. And our screen should be lining up the white screen, downloading jailbreak data. And our computer screen, Red Snow, should already almost be done. And right there, you get the big line of text. Red Snow is already done on my computer screen, so we can just click on finish. So yeah guys, this is an untethered jailbreak, meaning you don't have to use your uh, Red Snow or hook it up to your computer every time it has to reboot. So that just takes the hassle of it away. As far as I know, you can still unlock it, but you need a custom made uh, IPSW or a firmware. So if you have not made that yet, then I strongly recommend you do not make this uh, jailbreak or go through this jailbreak. So right now that we have the Apple logo, we're just going to wait for it to boot up. If you guys have any have more questions or comments or any problems, just post it in the comment section, and uh, I'll try to get you as fast as I can. I'm kind of busy, but I'll try to do my best. All right, looks like it appears to be uh, working. All right, I'm gonna slide to unlock anytime soon. All right. And there it is, Cydia. If you get a white uh, Cydia icon, then try to reboot, as in turn on or turn off your iPhone and then turn it back on manually by holding the power button. 
So we're, right now we're going to Cydia, and everything seems to be going perfectly great. Uh, let me see. All right, Cydia 1.1 at the bottom. Go ahead and changes. Everything seems to be working pretty good. All right, so now let's try it out. If this is a actual reboot onto their jailbreak, so we're gonna manually turn it off. And now we're going to turn it on. This also works for the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 3rd generation, 4th generation, iPad 1st generation. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't mention this in the beginning of the video. I keep forgetting. My bad, guys. So far, they say that they're working on the iPad 2 jailbreak. But as of now, they're going to keep it down on low because they don't want any more exploits being leaked out to Apple and then release a new update that could fix it. Alright, so as you can see, my iPhone is turned on and it's completely untethered. But uh, that's about it, guys. If you have any more questions, like I said, post it in the comment section. And uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe.